Hello, Mr. Powers. Hello, Glamour Ghouls. It's been a minute. Hi, how are you? If you are new here to my channel, hello. Uh, hi. My name is Pinna Palmer, and I like to keep everything pink and spooky. Obviously. So, today, we are doing some big hair, because I feel like big hair is in, is it? I have no idea. 60s are in. Big hair has always been in. It's the 60s mod. I mean, it's the Bond girl we're doing today. It's the Sharon Tate. I don't know. I just wanted something big, sexy, 1960s vintage hair. It's a lot of things. I can see that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really easy, big, sexy hairstyle today. It's quite simple, I must say. Here are the tools you're gonna need to achieve this big look. Mm -hmm. Get out your hair extensions. Okay, ghouls, the first thing you're gonna need is a lovely big old hair sponge. You can get these at Sally's. Next, a simple plain bristle brush or just a normal hairbrush. Don't mind the ghost. Such a pest. Then you're gonna need a one inch curling iron. Turn it on super hot. Then go ahead and grab your teasing comb. The creature is showing off mine. All right, out of the way. And of course you're gonna need some hairspray. Thank you, Ted. You're also gonna need a hair clip. Mine is Killer Clowns. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well. And last but not least, you're gonna need a bunch of bobby pins. And that's it. And then you're ready. Let's take down this mop of a hair, shall we? A hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16. First things first, you're gonna wanna brush your hair out. So after you brush your hair, we're gonna just kind of section off the top piece. And it's gonna be in the form of like a big old horseshoe. And that's it. So I like to kind of go here at the edge where my balding spot is. Ball! She's bald! Go about midway in the back and do the same thing over here. Kind of gather up that hair just to get it out of the way and section it off. Now let's see what that looks like. It look like shit. So after you kind of get this horseshoe shape here, <laughs> you make yourself into an elephant. <laughs> You're going to just kind of twist it. <laughs> I swear we're doing hair. And just hold it in place and you're done. See, now this is the easy part. It is! I'm gonna use this curling iron. I put it on the hottest heat. If you guys at this point need to use hair protection or anything that is your like daily routine or volumizer or even your extensions, this is the time to put them in and we're gonna curl. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna curl the entire head, except this part right now. So, like I said before, we're gonna start sectioning off our hair. Take your curling iron, roll it all the way down, be sure to get those ends, then roll it all the way up. Let it sit there for a few minutes. Then you're gonna wanna take two fingers and then roll your hair back up, grab a bobby pin, and pin it in place, just so it sits and holds for a bit. We're gonna do that to the rest of the hair, all rolling downwards. You're gonna wanna repeat this process all over your hair. Once it's done, go ahead and spray that side and don't forget about the other side. Girls with a lot of hair know my struggle, but basically you're just gonna do the same thing, wind it on up and then pin it in place. Once done, you're gonna go ahead and spray all of your hair and just let it sit for a bit as we move on. Now that we're kind of done curling all the back of the sides, we're set, we're sprayed, and now we're gonna focus on curling this last little uh, chunk of hair. This is really not that much different. Um, we're just gonna divide it into sections and we're gonna roll backwards. That's all we're gonna do. It's that easy. Let's start with the piece kind of way back here to kind of give you guys an example. So you're gonna take your curling iron, put it in, and roll it all the way down to the tip. That's what she said. <laughs> and we're just gonna roll it on back. And let it stay there for a bit. Just like how we did with the sides of our hair, we're gonna repeat this process. We're gonna curl, roll it back with our fingers, and then pin it in place. Once you are satisfied with all your curls, go ahead and spray it with hairspray, just to lock it in. And just like that, you're done and looking fabulous. 
So this is the final setting spot for the hair. I've sprayed some hairspray in it. And um, one second, my phone is ringing. Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? I told you to stop calling me, asshole. God. <laughs> you know I love you. Yeah, yeah. All right. I love you too, Dad. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> Parents. <laughs> Am I right? Anyway. All right, now that the curls have set and cooled down, go ahead and take them out. Try not to damage the curls. Just let your curls kind of bounce around, brush them out just a little bit with your fingers, and then we're almost ready for teasing. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> so what you're gonna do now is we're gonna just start teasing the crap out of every strand, just to give as much volume as we can. And I mean under tease, go underneath it like so. When teasing, try not to touch the ends of the hair because that's where the curl holds most. Try to get underneath closer to your crown. So now that we look like we're in Twisted Sister. Don't you ever, <laughs> ever do that again. So. <laughs> Listen to me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna kind of push everything forward here to get as much, and we're gonna take, hi, how are you? We're gonna take this loofah looking thing because we want extra volume, okay? Extra. You could get these at, I can't talk to you seriously like this. Hello! Hello. Is there anyone, anyone in there? there? You can get these at Sally's, but if you don't have one of these around or if you just don't have time to go to the store, just get a sock, stuff it with Socks. A quote from a great human poet. All right, so we're going to put it kind of like here at the crown. And we're going to take these bobby pins, seen here, and we're just going to shove them in so that we can get a good grip on each side. If you guys ever wanted to know how Cousin It would uh, do a hair tutorial, here it is. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> volume who? Volume what? So now we're gonna kind of brush it over, brush it over gently, but we don't wanna lose that volume. So we're just kind of brushing the hair away a little bit, lightly, not tugging on the curls so much. So your choice, but I'm gonna kind of gather the hair like here, kind of twist it a little bit on itself and then we're gonna kind of secure it and give it like a little bump it. You guys remember bump it's back in the day? You're really old. After pinning, I like to use the back end of my teasing comb just to give my hair a little bit of volume in the bump it part. Then when you are satisfied with that, go ahead and slowly brush out the hair, just trimming down that frizz a little bit, smoothing out the edges. Once you're satisfied with some areas, go ahead and give it a spray to hold the volume up at top. Then for added bonus, if you guys have them, like little strands of sideburns or long hairs on the side, this is a very 60s thing that I noticed. I'm just kind of pulling out my sideburns closest to my ear and spraying them with hairspray just to kind of lock it in place to give it that vintage vibe that I've seen in a lot of like Sharon Tate pictures. And voila, you're done. You now have big 1960s hair. Congratulations, you did it. So that's about it for this tutorial. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a new video. Yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Put it down below if you guys want to see any other hairstyles that you haven't seen yet or that I haven't done yet. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you Glamour Ghouls next time. Bye. There goes my earring. There it goes. For more pink and spooky content, go ahead and click one of the links below.